I, the other night, I woke up in the middle of the night and I had uh, Elisha on my heart. So I googled Elisha and Jezebel. And that landed me in Second Kings chapter 9. So I typed up what I have found, but I, I'm going to look at my notes here and just tell you what I found. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Jezebel, she was um, a very wicked queen of Israel for a while. And uh, during her husband's reign over Israel, she had hired false prophets to prophesy in the name of Baal. And she had the prophets of Jehovah murdered. So that's just a little b brief background on her. And then after that, uh, she was shoved out of the palace window by her own eunuchs before she could be buried. Dogs ate her flesh and drank her blood and leaving her only her bones in the valley of Jezreel. So in reading through that passage in 2 Kings 9, uh, I come across a guy named Jehu, I think is how you pronounce that. He actually facilitated the death of Jezebel. I looked up the, the meaning of his name in Hebrew, and the meaning of his name means Yahweh is he. Also, he had a reputation of being fast, a fast and reckless chariot driver. Uh, I don't know if you heard me before, but Jezebel, uh, her bones were drug out into the valley of Jezreel. Jezreel means God sows in Hebrew. So now if we take just that little bit of history there and we fast forward to our current events of today, uh, there's a great parallel between what happened to Jezebel and the election of President Trump. Um, I don't know if any of you guys noticed, but whenever Jezebel, uh, whenever President Trump won the election, the Jezebel spirit was uprooted. And whenever that happened, uh, we're seeing all kinds of crazy stuff now. But the president, President Trump, is kind of fast and somewhat reckless like Jehu. And even more interesting is a fascinating bit of history that I found at GoIsrael.com. I went over there and I looked up some history, current history, on Jezreel because that is still around. And there was an article in there and this is what it said. It said, Jezreel means God will sow, a hint at its fertility. Although by modern times neglect had turned most of it into swamps, but beginning in 1911, pioneers drained the swamps, making the valley bloom again. Uh, today, it is Israel's breadbasket sprouting wheat, cotton, sunflowers, and even fish ponds. Did you hear that in there? In 1911, pioneers drained the swamps. Is that not what we heard during this last election? Uh, in our current administration, that's exactly what they're doing right now. Uh, even though we're going through this transition of draining the swamp led by President Trump and his administration, we have to remember that swamp draining is a messy job. Whenever swamps are drained, you're going to run up against lots of ugliness, uh, snakes, alligators, slime, etc. And they do fight for their territory. They don't want their territory to go away. But with Jezebel's spirit being uprooted, we're going through times of drain in the swamp. We need to just stick with it. There's going to be lots of ugliness. We need to keep praying for President Trump and his administration. Don't forget, it's going to get messy and it could be even dangerous, but America will be great again. And I believe we will be a breadbasket to the nations just like Jezreel is to Israel. Yeah. Amen. Amen.